Hi team, I previously uploaded a video showing you how to foam roll the bigger of the muscles at the front of the lower leg, tibialis anterior. Today I want to show you a simple but effective drill for strengthening this important muscle. First of all, let's take a look at the muscle itself. Tibialis anterior is found just to the outside of the tibia, which is the bone you can feel running down the front of your shin. It starts at the top and outside of the tibia and runs downwards with its tendon crossing the ankle obliquely from outside to in. It's this oblique diagonal orientation as the tendon crosses the ankle and inserts onto the foot that dictates the function of tibialis anterior. In non-weight bearing, tibian dorsiflexes and inverts the foot, and when we stand up into weight bearing, the most important function of tibialis anterior is to help, along with muscles such as tibialis posterior, to control the eversion movement of the foot, a big component of pronation. As with all muscles, for tibialis anterior to get stronger, we need to find a way of overloading it and causing it to adapt to the imposed demands. Sounds complex, but thankfully, there's a simple drill that you can use right now that targets tibialis anterior very effectively. Standing barefoot, actively pull up your toes and feet towards your shins and rock your weight backwards gently so that you're balancing on your heels. Keep your legs straight rather than bending at the knees and your core ties and glutes engaged as you slowly step forward on one foot after the other, only allowing your heels to touch with every step. Walk forwards for 30 to 45 seconds in slow, deliberate straight lines and you should start to feel the work through those tibialis anterior muscles at the front and outside of the shins. As with any new exercise, play it safe and work on a less is more approach to begin with as some runners may well find this exercise highlights a significant weakness. If this is you and you feel the localized fatigue kick in within the first 10 to 20 seconds, then perhaps build up the duration and number of reps over time to eventually reach three sets of 45 seconds. In my experience, runners with weakness in tibialis anterior often have a history of shin splints or plantar fasciitis, just to name a couple of common running injuries of the lower leg. Of course, it's hard to identify cause and effect, but it's a great drill to work on. 